Let's look at another word problem. Remember, the diagram is not drawn to scale. The area of Mr. Liu's yard is 525 square feet. The ratio of length to width is 7 to 3. Let's pause. This time we have a yard, so we have area is length times width. We don't know the length, we don't know the width yet, but we're going to find out because we're given length to width is seven to three, and we do know the area is five hundred twenty-five. Let's put it in, and let's use our cross multiplication so that we will only have one variable. And it tells us three w. 3L meant to write 3L. Okay, erase 3L is 7W. Okay, and you can keep W, you can keep L. You decide. I'm going to write L is divided by three each side. Seven over three W. Now I'm gonna come here. When I say L, I'm gonna substitute. L is seven over three. W, and that times another W. Okay, all right. So that I have five to five is I can put the W on top on the numerator place. So I have seven W square over three W times W. That's W squared. Remember, keep the base, keep the base, add the power. That's why I got W has second power. Okay. All right, we're gonna times three times three each side. You're gonna have seven W equals times three. That gives us one thousand five hundred seventy-five. I'm gonna erase the right side so we have place to write. Okay, erase it. All right, now seven. Um, we're gonna divide. By seven each side, so we're gonna have W squared, okay? W squared. So divide by seven each side. W squared is we have two hundred twenty-five. You might want to ask me, wait a minute, your W was on the right side. How come now W squared be um go to the left side? Your number go to the right side. Remember, you can switch left and right side at the same time. You do not have to do a sign change. Okay, all right. If you don't want, you can just keep the W square on your right hand side. I prefer it's on the left side, so I just do a quick removable and switch both of them at the same time. Now, I'm gonna get the square root. I will only need the positive square root. Why? Because the distance has to be a positive number. I'm gonna take the square root. Take the square root. W is fifteen. Let's check the unit fifteen feet. That's just the W. That's width is fifteen. Okay. I remember early we say length over width. The ratio is seven to three. You just figure out W is fifteen. So let's put down here W is fifteen. What is the length? Okay, we're gonna do a simple way. This time we don't have to do cross multiplication. Let's look at what happened here. How did three become fifteen? That means three multiply five, right? Three multiply five become fifteen. And then that means seven. You see this number seven also has to times five. Seven times five gives us thirty-five, which means the length is thirty-five feet. Now we got the dimensions, width and length. Oh, when I put a highlight there, the length is gone. Let's rewrite it. Length is thirty-five feet. That's it. Happy learning.